I don't understand how you pass something to only affect people that follow the law, but you don't pass nothing to curve the people that's breaking the law. What's going on amazing people? It's your boy RGG, a regular gun guy. If this is your first time on my channel, please smash that sub button. And if you're returning to the channel, I appreciate you more than you'll ever know. I'm back on my Illinois shit. Yeah, I got out of there. I know people talking about, man, you moved. You got out of Illinois, man. Why are you talking about Illinois stuff? That's where I'm from, man. Shout out to Chicago. Shout out to Illinois. Shout out to the whole state and especially Maywood. Understand something. There's an assault weapons ban in place I've talked about this on several different videos. Back on September 17th, it went back to court downstate Illinois to see if it's going to get overturned. I think it's going to be very tough to get it overturned. It may get overturned in court, then they're going to go back and appeal it, and then it's going to be another state. It's going to be weird, right? Like, it's going to be tough, and I'm going to tell you why, man. Because Chicago runs the state. The people of Chicago, I'm speaking to all my people, all of my Chicagoans, my Illinoisans, and even more importantly, my people. I'm speaking to y'all directly right now. Y'all need to hear this. Y'all need to hear this uncut truth on this whole gun thing. And when I talk about Chicago runs the state, right? However Chicago moves is how the state moves. And they brainwash us and they've been brainwashing us for years. Ever since I was a little kid, for as long as I can remember, we've been brainwashed. This ain't a political message because I don't even like to preach the politics stuff. But here's the truth of the matter. Democrats, anti-gunners, traditionally, right? Not all of them, but most of them in, in Chicago votes Democrat and they, they super anti-gun, right? The governor's a Democrat, the mayor's a Democrat. Republicans are usually more open to the Second Amendment, you know, typically. I'm, I'm, I'm not really finna dive into the politics. Before I go into that, I want to introduce you guys to merch for my channel. If you want a way to support this channel, man, this is community versus everybody. All that is, is whatever community you are part of, in this case, the 2A community, but whatever community you are part of, I always think community more important than anything. Powers in numbers. That's just a true thing. We can support one another. We can fight for common causes. And not only does this shirt allow you to support the channel it also enters you into the channel giveaway we're giving away a trigicon sro every person that purchased this shirt you get entered into that giveaway you also get a free patch when you purchase the shirt i'll leave the link in the description to be able to support the channel back in 2022 there was a a horrible incident that happened in highland park illinois if you don't know what highland park is that is a very well-to-do area outside of Chicago, maybe about 35, 40 minutes. Um, there was a tragic shooting that happened. The governor went into action. They passed this assault weapons ban. And basically it just supposedly, it was supposed to curb the gun violence and you know take some of these powerful or assault weapons off the street and do all this other stuff, right? They told us they was gonna pass this ban and it was supposed to help and curb the gun violence. Have y'all watched the news lately? Because I do. I still watch Chicago news even though I moved to Florida. The gun violence hasn't changed. I've been saying this forever. They, they, they trick us and they fool us because the stories they don't tell you is about how many people who legally obtained their firearms and defended themselves in a self-defense situation from somebody who was trying to carjack them, rob them, or hurt them, and they defended themselves successfully, being a legal gun owner. Man, one thing I'm not doing is I'm not condoning what goes on in the street. I can remember a time when I was a part of the problem, so I'm not going to knock these kids either. I mean, I just think we need to figure out better ways to invest better, to create better situations. Doing things that affect people that are already abiding by the law, I think is the stupidest thing in the world. And here's the, the, the most common sense part of all of it. What person you know in the street, any streets, any city, not just Chicago, but we are talking about Chicago and Illinois right now, is concerned about a law that you passed. And I hope that this gets to the governor or the mayor because I got a few things to say to you guys. I really need you to start actually talking to the people and not just just the people that's around you, that's never been a part of it, that don't know what's going on. They out of touch. Think about this. What was the gun violence um, epidemic going on in Highland Park prior to that shooting? 
Because I could tell you a lot of, or talk about a lot of gun violence that was going on in the city of Chicago prior to that shooting, and you never passed a law. I've been so confused about that, you never did anything to curve that violence. Never. My condolences to those families. Nobody should be losing their lives senselessly. You never passed one law when them kids on the south side and the west side of Chicago and north side you know, getting killed senselessly in the street. You never pass nothing to try to curve the gun violence. You never invested the money into programs that would help get these kids off the street. You never invested anything in mental health to help some of these kids, help some of these struggling families. You know, the way that y'all was scrambling to help the migrants that came in, all oh, that the millions and millions of dollars y'all been spending, putting them in cribs, getting them jobs, setting them up. Can you imagine if you would have did that in some of the communities in and around Chicago? You might have curved a lot of it. I promise you would have. You would have changed a lot because you would have gave some of these boys and young ladies opportunities that they just don't have right now. But it's for some reason, y'all don't seem to think about that. But as soon as the kids went down in Highland Park, the people, I'm sorry, went down in Highland Park, all of a sudden, law passed. Unbelievable. And it's doing nothing, man. The violence in Chicago has not slowed down. It does nothing. And then let's go to the mayor, not just the governor. Let's go to the mayor. I'm disappointed in you. First of all, Brandon Johnson is from Elgin, Illinois, not Chicago. So to me, to think that this stuff is really heartfelt from him, for him, it can't be. No knock to Elgin. I got a lot of people out in Elgin. That's not the point. The point is, you're not really a Chicagoan. Yeah, you live there now, man. But you, this, this thing, bro, you don't get it. You just took away the shot spotter technology, right? And you said, no, it's not working. I mean, who quits a job before they get another one? We need justice for her. We need closure for her. And I feel like if we had the spot, the shot spotter cameras, they would have found her hours before. Yes, the police could have been alerted quicker if shot spotter was still in place. You don't have any other technology to help out to do anything, but you cancel this one. You canceled this technology that was at least alerting law enforcement that there were shots in a certain area or, or possible gunshots in a certain area. You, I mean, you have nothing to make up for it, nothing to take the place of it. I think that's another form of stupidity. I don't think they'll ever truly overturn this, man. Once they got this ban passed, Pritchard will spend whatever he needs to spend to keep it passed. I just want to, I want to tell the people in Illinois this and especially in the city of Chicago and surrounding areas. Get your concealed carry while you still can. Go out, buy you something to protect your family, yourself, when you out. Defend yourself. It's your Second Amendment right. They really trying to strip it away. For all of y'all that went out there and registered these firearms, man, I wanted to say it so bad while I was there, I couldn't though, because I'm on YouTube and I felt like they would have tried to target me. But I'm gonna tell you this, I wasn't registering nothing, wasn't doing it. At the end of the day, it's a big part of the reason I got out of the state. Not the only reason, but it's a big part of it because I refuse for you to be able to tell me how to protect myself and my family. If you are eligible, go get your concealed carry because nobody in the streets that has ill intent or evil intent is following any of these laws. And I wanted Governor Pritzker to know, man, that there's so many of our people out there that's not even aware of this assault weapons ban. They don't even know. And they legally bought the AR-15s and similar style guns. And none of these people are out there committing crimes, man. They, some of them work at O'Hare Airport. Some of them work for the CTA. Some of them work for waste management. Some of them work in real estate. Some of them are school teachers. And these are all people that I've spoke to, people that I know that follow the law. But they went and got their concealed carriage the right way. They law-abiding citizens. They just want to be able to give themselves a chance, man. They just want to give themselves a fighting chance. I don't understand how you pass something to only affect people that follow the law, but you don't pass nothing to curve the people that's breaking the law. You're not saving. You ain't doing anything for that. And then you're snatching, the two, you're snatching away second, our Second Amendment right for no reason at all, man. Illinois has some of the worst gun laws in the whole United States. Man. It's unbelievable. It's unbelievable what they're doing, man. How many businesses are suffering? How many people that do this, like I, like myself, right, that just do this for sport, education, and entertainment purposes, right? Um, competition shooters. People that have no intent to break the law. And you hurt those people the most. It's the only people that it hurt. Highland Park is fine. That was just an idiot kid 
that made a terrible mistake and people didn't catch it early. I'm not, he, he made terrible judgment and nobody caught it early when they should have. That's what happened. You should be investing in ways to be able to catch those type of tragedies early. But I'm going to tell you a, a secret here. I know some people in Highland Park right now that own AR-15s. And they not law enforcement. I ain't, I ain't snitching on them because I ain't going to tell you who they are. But they there. But they let you go ahead and pass this ban. They was out there, you know, all the protesting and all the other funny stuff that you guys were doing. But it's still AR-15s in Highland Park. You better believe it. Just like it is in Chicago. Just like it is in Rockford. Just like it is in Joliet. Just like it is in Maywood. Just like it is all over. Illinois. They still out there. And people not registered them, man. No use. You, you cannot take away people's Second Amendment right, which is what the state of Illinois has been doing. And this is just the uncut truth, y'all. This, this was never to curb the violence. This was never intended to slow down any type of violence. This was just a political money move. Imagine if Two million Foy card holders all paid $25 to register a couple firearms apiece. You do the math. This has always been about money and politics, man. It's never been about saving lives. Protect our community. Kiss my ass.